Brain squest, brain squest, brain squest, brain squest, brain squest, brain squest, hi, I'm autistic, I couldn't tell, uh, hi, welcome to the, what episode are we on, let me check, I think the 8th episode of my Brain Quest LP, let me check, yeah, 8th, 8th episode, I need a cough drop, I was trying to record something beforehand, but it didn't turn out too well, so, that got scrapped, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, let's get to it. Where we last left off, um, uh, what was happening? I guess fell in love, we were, we met up with Crook, and some other stuff happened. Uh, so yeah. So we gotta do some more, there's some more quests available for us. Uh, and we're, our goal is to find girls that are level 35 who we, we can fuck. Let's do Amnesiac Girl. I guess Captain of the Kalar Guard. Suffering from amnesia, she only has Rance's words. You are my lover. She wanders around town. Maybe she's not convinced? Sedade, East Block. I guess was walking aimlessly around Sedade. She walked carefully, observing her surroundings, well aware of just how dangerous humans could be. These streets are filthy and difficult to walk through. Are she are all human settlements like this? Still, at least I'm outside. Humans count Kalars, so she stays indoors more often than not. I guess had gone out despite the risk, just for a change of pace. Remaining inside would get stifling. I should head somewhere else. I guess left the city, eager to escape the suspicious eyes of all the humans. Today, nearby mountains. Climbing a suitable tree. I just sat and looked down over Sedade. Amnesia. I never knew that losing one's memories could be this terrifying. I can't trust myself. If someone told me a lie about my past, I... I can't remember that new man at all either. So even if he is deceiving me... No. That would be a natural assumption, wouldn't it? There are indeed stories of love between Kalar and humans in the Kalar village. That had nothing to do with me. The more rationally I'm able to think about this, the more I doubt that man's words. However... There she is! Huh? A member of the Amazusa group was shouting from below the tree. <laughs> She's running after her! Today, back alley. <sighs> Where'd she go? Find her! I just dashed into an alley and concealed herself between two buildings. The voices of the Amazusa group employees gradually faded into the distance. <sighs> I suppose I was a bit too careless. Hey! Uh, sheesh. What are you doing out here? You surprised me. I'm the one who's surprised. There was a huge fuss around town about a Kalar showing up. I see. That must have been me. I apologize for the trouble. Yeah, it was trouble, alright. Hurry up, we're going back to the inn. Rance, I'm thinking of returning to call our village. Huh? But wait a second. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Cause I said you were in trouble? No, it's fine. Cause me trouble. As much as you want. I love trouble. Woohoo! Trouble! No, that's not what I meant. I feel as if I'm forgetting something important. What do you mean? Like there's something I need to remember. Like I shouldn't stay with you. The more I think about it, the more I feel as if my true place is there. Hmm, hmm. That's why I must remember, and for that purpose, I must return to the- SHUT UP! Mm -hmm. Grant suddenly stole Ice's lips. <laughs> <laughs> I got your lips, I guess. What are- What you need to remember is your love for me. What? But a bum but a bum Me and I guess love theater. Go away, bug. Get off my computer. I hate Texas summertime because there's so many bugs. Is that way other places I have no go away. Ah it This is why I hate being in Texas, man. Are there bugs other places in the summer? I don't know, but it's especially bad where I live. 
What are you doing? <sighs> to refresh your memory, I'm gonna tell you the story of our love. Listen up! Mm -mm, I understand. My meaning with this man. First of all, it all started when you were still the ca captain of the guard or whatever in the Kalar village. One day, the Kalar village was attacked. Attacked. Uh, who should be the bad guy here? A dragon? No, that'd be weird. Was it Hellman? That's right, Hellman! Hellman had historically attacked the Kalar village several times in the past. Hellman made a cowardly, cowardly attack with the full force of their army. Against overwhelming numbers, the Kalar girls despaired, thinking themselves doomed. Then I made my dashing entrance. The thunder of their boots, row after row of soldiers, banners fluttering in the air. In front of all of them I declared, The Kalars are under my protection! If you want to die, step forward! Just like that. Oh-ho. Uh -huh. Then it was a huge battle royale. I cut down thousands of Helmanian soldiers as they rushed at me, then cut down thousands more. At some point the sun set and I kept fighting through the night. It was hard to fight all of them on my own, but I pushed myself to the very limits to protect the Kalar girls. After a while of that, a single man stepped out from their ranks. He was the commander of their army. Shockingly, the man challenged me and my overwhelming strength to a one-on-one -on -one duel. From the old scars covering his body, I could tell that he just... He wasn't just anyone. So, what happened? Hmm. Did you accept the duel? The moon was beautiful that night. There's no need to keep me in suspense. <laughs> he was super strong. You fought him? I did. But no matter how strong he was, he was no match for me. I won, naturally. The long, hard battle ended, and the Helmanian forces pulled back. A single Kalar girl asked me. Your name. Could I at least- could you at least tell me your name? But it would be too cheap of me to give my name there, so I answered this instead. Rents pointed off to the, into the distance. Ask my name with the morning sun. Just like that. Hmm. Ta-da! Yeah, <laughs> how was that? It was cool, right? Well, it wasn't bad. Hmm, right? I have one question. I wasn't in that story. <clears throat> I thought I'd be hearing the story of our love, but was I wrong? I guess. Burning the sight of me on that day into her eyes. Fill for me. Ah, uh, so that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Then where does what you told me before about how we were enemies the first time we went come in? Ah, uh, her. That's right, good job remembering that. I'm impressed, I guess. Mm -hmm. That was cause... Right. What I wanted to say was that you didn't trust me at all in the beginning. You didn't believe me that I... at all when I said I'd save you guys. I believe you also mentioned that we fought. We fought just a bit, just a little bit. You suddenly attacked me and I was really surprised. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Then my next question... After you said that you wanted to come with me, and we became lovers, and when the queen heard about us, about that, she got mad and cursed us. The end! That ending was awfully rushed. <laughs> That's just your imagination. So, well, I guess? Hmm? That helped you remember our lovey dovey days together, didn't it? I wonder. Frankly, there are any number of suspicious points to his story. And it must have been exaggerated at least a little. But I can't call it a lie just because- But can I call it a lie just because of that? Hmm? Something wrong, I guess? There's an easy way to find out if he's lying. I despise dishonesty. Hmm? What do you mean? I would never forgive someone for lying just for their own gain. So, what do you mean? Could you look me in the eye? Yeah? I'm going to ask you some questions. You'll answer them. If I judge them wise, what'll you do? I'll kill you. Oh ho. I guess stared at Reigns with such intensity that his breath almost caught in his throat. Can you look me in the eye? Of course. Here, I'm looking, I'm looking. Gahahaha. <laughs> Reigns pushed his face right up to Agus's. <laughs> well, how's that? He was close enough to I that he was close enough that Agus could feel his breath, and she nearly jumped away from him. But she maintained her composure and stared straight back at him. 
stare. I should I should be able to tell whether or not he's lying by looking into his eyes. Are you my lover? I am. Do you love me? Of course I love you. Are you lying to me? I haven't told a single lie. I feel as though I might be sucked into those brown eyes of his. They're beautiful and so genuine. This man. Bing! Brent smiled. Well, I guess. Did I pass? Uh, that was a test, right? How'd I do? Y yes. I just quickly bowed her head. I apologize for testing you. This man's eyes. They had not a shred of doubt in them. It would normally make one's eyes swim a bit when they lied, but there was nothing of the sort here. They were truly honest. A person like that would... Gahaha! <laughs> ha Raise your head, I guess. Don't worry about it. I won't. I've done something terrible, though. I don't even know how to apologize. Seriously? Don't worry about it. More importantly, you'll acknowledge that you're my lover, won't you? Yes, I will. I am your lover. Then start using my name already. It's not very intimate to avoid it. I see. So I used your name in the past. I will call you Rance, then. Let's try to get your memories back, I guess. No, they might never come back. Then we just need to make a bunch of new ones. Yes, you're right. Right, wonderful memories. But she'll kill a liar, huh? Guess I'll keep that in mind. In any case, I'm in your care, Rance. Yep, all sorts of my care. Gahahaha! <laughs> oh boy, we get her eight sheen. Uh, eight sheens that- Okay, quest eight sheens in general go so hard, it's actually unreal. But like, that I guess one is really good. Um, what should we do next? Well, I want to wait a bit to do the eight scenes because technically we can do them, but I want to wait till we get Rant's castle to start uh, doing some of the eight scenes. But we still have some more to do. As you can see, you need uh, the main story stuff. I believe escorting Copadon will help, but I um, don't really feel like doing that one just yet. Do like I said, I tend to do the ones that are easiest first, so actually we might need to do that because that seems to be the easiest. Um Yeah, I guess we will do that actually. Uh let's see, what do we put should we put in our party? <laughs> you know what I'm actually kinda of tempted to show uh, the character creation, what happens, but at the same time, I, uh, was gonna think about making a new character, but at the same time, uh, I just realized how much any XP points I have put into Cecilia, my- You know what, let's, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be an asshole, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna make a new Cecilia. Uh, it's cause we already have a lot of healers, and I feel like I don't really need that anymore, so I'm gonna make a new one. That's, um, a mage, so I can show you how it goes. So, character ticket. Then we do, let's see. Alice's guest. Welcome, it's Alice! Caw! This is Yukichi. In this quest, you can create all kinds of characters that you'd like. You can use a graphic you like to represent a character. Incidentally, they'll have no effect on the story of the game. You can bring a female character you like on your adventures, too. Oh, however, um... It will be an adventure with Rant, so... Well, just something to consider. Enter character creation mode? Yes. Alright, then we'll enter character creation mode. Okay, so the switch here, there, connect these two wires, okay. Oh, I did it! Good luck creating that character. Come on! God, I love Alice so much. Yes. My name, uh, yeah. All right, what should we use to represent ourselves? Well, I already know. I have a lot of icons in here because I've played this game multiple times. Um, let's see, normally I just use a uh, Baron to represent myself, but I think I'll use a. Uh, that's a Tella icon. I need to hold on. Let me, uh, get a better quality icon for that, cause, <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. 
Hold on. Oh yeah, I gotta edit these ones. Uh, for size, hold on. Cause I have some more in this. Um, what is the... Hold on. Alright, what is the, uh, what? Crop. We're not crop resize. This is not a, uh, actually, I don't know if you can even see it. This ain't an ad for, uh, Easy GIF, but a uh, good site for using, uh, whatchamacallit. Also, I guess I'm doxing myself with, uh, my name. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you should already know that that's my name. Don't, uh, hi, yeah. Uh, so call me Cecilia, though, unless I know you IRL or if you're a close friend. Uh, I mean, unless, you know, I mean, you're fair to do whatever you want, you know. Let me see, where's the girl who looks like, there she is. Yeah. I'm gonna use that icon. What's icon size again? I forgot. I wish you could have, like, infinite, um... Uh, let me see, what is it? 196 by... 196. Or 6, there it is. By... 232. Alrighty. If you ever need to re- For this game, if you ever want to resize, um... Your images and stuff. Uh, like if you want it for playing this game and stuff. Uh, I recommend using the site Easy Gift. That's what I use. Anyways. Crap, have I been on Do Not Masturbate the whole time? Oh wait, no, 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 I haven't. I just, I think I just switched to that. <laughs> oh, it's because of the, me doing 323. Three. Wait, or 232? Two, three, two? Oh crap, let's hope this hasn't been on Do Not Masturbate the entire time. If it has, well, I don't feel like re-recording this. So yeah. Yes, that's me. That's what I look like, except I have blue eyes. I was gonna put, do Nozomi, but, uh, Nozomi's already in this game. Alright, I am a mage. Alright, what line should I put in? Um. I don't even get what I mean by that. That's just the kind of stuff that I say. Oh no, that's a little... No, no, I'll keep that. That's the kind of thing I'd say. Then... You know me, you know I make anime grill noises IRL. Okay. What do I usually do? I usually do skill points plus. Alrighty. So yeah, rip uh, previous Cecilia. We got a new Cecilia now, though. Uh, this might have been a waste of uh, money, but whatever. Let's increase her level cap. Where was the... There it is. Alrighty. Damn, I got a lot of good items, actually. I don't know where the heck I got all these ones from. Hmm. 
now. Hmm. I swear there was a way to get uh, the better. Oh, yeah, there is. I'm gonna do that later, though. Currently. Wait, I forgot the other special item. Whoops. I'm gonna wait for her to level up a bit, though, just because why not? But I'm gonna make her into a sort of. Uh... I do a tanky mage? Yeah, let's do that. Although, I guess Emmy fits into that as well, but you know. So, yeah, now we'll do Copadon for. Oh, uh, escorting Copadon. We'll let, uh, I'm gonna, just gonna call her Cecilia, because why not? <laughs> We're gonna let her, uh, get some EXP through the back party. Today at Keith Guild. Transcribed at Keith Guild, as always, looking for a job. This is today's job, here. Keith tossed the form down in front of Rance. You better handle this carefully, it's a special crust. Not like the usual stuff. What is it? Well, you'll get it. You'll get it if you read the form, but the request is coming from the owner of Sedate this time. It's a special escort mission. Oh boy, escort missions, everyone's favorite! The owner? So, Copandon? That's right. The president of the Copan Empire, Miss Copandon Dot. Why is it only one T? I could swear it was two. President Copandon herself has specified you for this mission. Hmm? She wants a strong escort on her way to an inspection of the Copan Empire managed M land. She pu she's pulled a lot of strings to extend her influence so quickly, after all. She's got a lot of enemies, and plenty of people envy her. Are you up for it? Going to accept it? Hmm. Well, Kovadon is one of my women. I suppose I can give her a special service every once in a while. Today, vicinity, highway. Fuck, she's late. Oh, what's up? It's ready for you to be on time for a meeting with me, Rance. Hey, Kovadon. That's some guts you've got to make me wait. What are you saying? You're the one who was early. I came right on time. Time is money. I don't waste time just to be extravagant with the people I hire. Extravagant, huh? Well, that's that, boys. Your work for today is done. Ma'am, I'm heading off now. So you can go home. Yes, Madame President. Please excuse us. Yep, good work. The black cloth clothed man bowed and sped off into the distance. Hmm. What is it? You got one of those looks on your face. You think you were being... You are, you are already being a strive and you didn't need to get me to escort you, right? Couldn't those guys have done it? That's true. They might have been stronger than you are right now, Rance. Don't be stupid. I'm always the strongest. So I was right to hire you then, eh? Huh? Now come on and do your job. Let's get out of here. You better protect me. Yeah, yeah. Poor Copa. Well... Actually, yeah, she she gets kind of shafted in the series, which is sad. Uh, that's, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. <laughs> hmm. This is a pretty bland rest area. They should make it fancier. What kind of charity do you think makes these things? It's boring here. Let's just keep moving. Ah, sheesh. Don't say that. We're right here now, so we might as well sit a while, right? My feet hurt. You're so much trouble. Just for a little while, okay? Yeah, thanks. Come sit with me. Okay, okay. The two of them sat on the bench in the rest area. Hey, Rance. You're working pretty hard lately, aren't you? Oh, what do you mean? You're taking a lot of guild jobs, right? Before you were just lazing around all day, every day. I'm happy you're back to your old self. Anything, or happy you're back to your old and anything goes adventure and self. That's what cool is cool about you, Rance. Gah, of course it is. Well, I'm kind of at my wit's end, honestly. Because of the curse, I've got to do everything I can to find strong girls or I can't have sex. It's a matter of life and death. <laughs> so, what happened? Why'd you quit lazing around? Huh? Well, you see, uh... Eh, don't worry about it. Well, go on, on. Am I cool today, too? Yeah, you're super cool. I see, I see. Then give me some cash. I'm gonna buy up all the crap at Frostbind store. I'm, it's not my style to pick up stuff up little by little, scrapping up the cash for it. Here. Hey, what the heck's this? You don't know? This here is called money. It's worth one gold. I know that. I'm asking you, what's this pocket change? Do you think I'm a kid going to a candy store? It's no fun if you don't earn that money yourself. 
And if you get rich quick, you're just gonna go back to lazing around, right, Rance? I love you how you are now, Rance, so I won't let you waste all that coolness. Che. Besides, I've still got much more money to make it myself. I'm done giving you my allowance. I'm trying to get for a southern accent, but I feel like that might be silly. I don't know, let me know. The heck? You bought a freaking country and you still want more? What are you gonna do with all that cash? What, you forget? I'm gonna buy you a course, Rance. Huh, what now? You said I need a hundred sextillion gold to buy you, right? That's what you told me when I, I said I wanted to keep you myself. Did I say that? You did! That's why I've been making all this money! Hmm? Just you wait. I'll make it for sure. I'll buy you and keep you all to myself. I mean it. <laughs> I won't let you get away. I'm glad there's no antitrust laws on men. Okay, actually, that line is pretty funny to get about it. Uh, if she keeps going like this, she might actually do it. Well, I'll probably find some way to get out of it. I see, I see. Well, do your best then. Yeah, I will. This Portuguese gal making a way in her life. So, shall we get going? You're getting bored of all the sitting, right? I guess so. Let's get out of here. I wouldn't mind staying here forever, of course. Aw, that's sweet. Alright, I'm actually gonna put Copa in my party. Because I can. Although she's not too useless because I sold her weapon because I tried to get a better version of it. Pretty stupid of me, yes. But I am kind of stupid to be fair. Whoa, hold it right there! A man with a weapon stepped out ahead of Rance's party and spread his arms out, blocking the path. Hey, what's with these guys? Thieves. The man's comrades slunk out for nearby. <laughs> Leave your money if you want to get away with your life. Wait, you're the president of the Copan Empire? Ah, he noticed. <laughs> it's our lucky day. With the ransom we can get her her, the boss will be pleased with us for sure. And she doesn't have any of those killjoy all-black bodyguards with her today. Let's go get her, boys. You're up, Rance. You better protect me. Well, I could do your favor today, I guess. Come at me. Easy. I am god mode in this game. Shh, small fry. I'm playing this more for the story on uh, my LP, though, and less than for the gameplay. So, uh, yeah. Rance grabbed the beaten thief by the collar. Okay, time for an the interrogation. Ugh, sorry. E e I I'm so sorry. Where are you guys from? Wait, we're from the Langrizer. Not Langrizer. Lang Sheer Bandis, and this this area is our tough. Our turf, you see. So are there any cute cute chicks in your little group of thieves? Huh? Like the boss or a cook or a drink pour or something, you've got fun and cute chicks? N no, the boss and the cook are both old dudes. We're all guys there. Sorry. Ch that's no fun. Then die. Well, uh, oh, that's right. The boss has a lover. She pretty or more cute? Sh she's pretty, yes. And her tits are huge. Huge tits, huh? That sounds nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's go take care of these thieves and I'll grab that lady. Yes, she's really quite pretty. Beautiful. You'd never guess that she's 32. Nope. 32. Wait, she's in her 30s? Meh, I'll pass. You can leave. Uh, oh, 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 I'm so terribly sorry. The thieves all sped off. Huh? You're letting him go? You're not gonna go over to the hideout and bang the boss's lover? Nah, I don't need her. I'll pass on a woman in their 30s. Huh? What's wrong? Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, right... Copanon followed after Rance. Um, hey Rance. What is it? You really don't like women in their 30s? Of course I don't. Women are like tofu, better than they're fresh. My strike zones, let's see, 15 to 29, yep. Rance should maybe hire that a little bit. You know, 15 is still kind of young, but you know, you do you. There are plenty of girls under 29 who I haven't fucked yet. I can't deal with the over 30s. And the young girls will grow up and enter my range eventually. Gahahaha. Th that's true, ain't it? Hmm? Something wrong? You sound kind of gloomy. Ah, uh, it, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Let's get going. Alright.
What am I going to do? I'm 29 right now. My birthday's coming up soon, too. So pretty soon I'll be... Uh, no, no, no. This can't be. So can I just say I love this battle theme a lot? Like, it's a total banger. Probably my favorite of the uh, normal battle themes. Three cities and lands. Alright, we're here. I'm the best bodyguard in the world, of course. Well, thanks, Rance. So you're going to be working after this? Yep, it's a surprise inspection. I'm going to look through everything. So you're just starting and I just finished. Well, I'll go home then. Go do your expecting. Ah, well, wait, 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 wait. Rant spun around and Copadon hurried to grab his cape. Oh. Yeah, that's cute. What? What do you want? Well, er, well, um, you know, about how I said I was going to buy you. Back then I said I was going to buy you, you at a price of 1,000 gold for every time we had sex because I was being stubborn, right? Oh yeah, come to think of it, you were paying every time I called you for sex, huh? Since you were giving, I guess I just took it. So like, um, want to do that again? Hmm? Do what? Sheesh! It's not obvious? Sex! Since your escort job's over, let's have sex! We're finally seeing each other after... No, oh, it's playing the song I love. Ooh, the game's pretty quiet because I, uh, don't want to be able to, uh, for me, I want myself to be louder than the game itself, but if you can't hear the music, please, uh, let me know. I mean, I've tried rewatching these videos, but I, I watched stuff at a kind of loud volume, so I can't say for certain. We're finally seeing each other after two years, but I've been so busy we haven't even done it once yet. I've been waiting for you, Rance. I'll finish my inspection as fast as possible so I can get a first-class hotel for you, and even call some girls over to have fun with while you wait for me, okay? Hmm. Well, Copenhagen does have her cute sides. I wouldn't mind fucking her. Actually, I want to fuck her. I want to, but... Yeah, and her level's not gonna be high enough with this curse on me. Sorry, but I can't. We'll do it sometime later. Huh? You can't? Well, see ya. Rance turned around and waved to her as he left. Ah, uh, hey, wait. No, I can't even say it. Papa Nan dropped to her knees. He said he couldn't. He couldn't. Because I'm almost 30? But why? You said 29 was okay, Rance. Papa Nan was left there for a while, unable to get back on her feet. Man, poor Copa. Ah, oh, frick, I forgot to get the max reputation. Well, I'm gonna replay that to do that, because, uh, I want to be able to get that. I said that a lot in the sentence, so well. Where is it? Alright, since we have step skip on, it shouldn't be as much of an issue. And since we are fairly strong, it shouldn't be much of an issue either. Ah, frick, I hate these enemies. Actually, these ones aren't as bad. But, like, the uncle baddies, I believe is what they're called, are a pain in the ass. Because they can stun you, and god, it's so annoying. And they're, they're usually some of the first enemies to come in a battle. I should have hit with light and whatever. What gal monster do I have on Copa? Oh, she just loaded up. We'll see. Ah, oh, she has Captain Vanilla. Yeah, civilians aren't all too useful though, but uh, they have like u some unique abilities. Like for Copa, she'll get you more money. Alright. Awesome. Yes, we did that. We'll get a lot of EXP from this battle then. Yeah, see? We got tons. It's not as much as you get from a Kyan Kyan, but it's still a lot. It's still very useful. Hey, 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 hey! We had tugged at Rance's sleeve. What is it? Leah's coming in real handy, right? She's pretty strong, don't you think? Hmm, well, I guess so. <laughs> right, right? But it's more like Harumaki's strong than you are, right? Grr! Aw, Leah's doing her best, too. 
He's like a lightning dragon, right? Yeah, and they're super strong. Harumeki, say hi to Darling! Growl, growl! Leah held out Harumeki to Rance as if to say, Here! Growl! Glaring at Rance. <laughs> Isn't he growling? Like, glaring at me? He's not growling, silly. Right, Harumeki? Growl, growl! Cheh. Harumeki and I have always been together. Papa got a soldier to capture him alive and gave him to Leah when she was little. Oh, yeah? Growl, growl, growl! Yeah, I really rely on him. Well, he's a useful pet to have. He's not a pet, he's Leah's friend. Growl! Glaring at Rance. Pretty cheeky to pick a fight with me. I could always rope you and eat you. Oh, you can't do that! Don't say something so mean! He's Leah's friend! What are you getting all weepy for? I get it, I was just joking, joking. Really? Really, really? Yeah, really. He said he was just joking, isn't- that's good, isn't it, Harumaki? Leah gave Harumaki a tight hug. Say thank you to Darling! Growl. I'm not sure I like this. Growl, growl. <laughs> that's cute. I love Leah, she's such a cutie. She's a little mean, but that's what makes her uh, lovely. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> ah! I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if we can escape. Alright, we can. Might not have been the best idea. We probably should have just taken the EXP, but oh well. Okie dokie. Oh, and replaying that we got a new mission. Rant's castle under construction. Let's check what the time is. All right. Probably should do two or so more missions and then we'll end it for today. What time is it? Oh, I think yeah. this is still checked. I just checked the time of the uh, recording. Contractors. I'm a Rant's castle under construction. Contractors. I'm a Zeus group. Building. Mr. Rant's personal castle. Construction. Start date. XXXX. Project. Projected completion date, XXXX. Ooh, I love this song a lot also. I, I don't know if I ever mentioned that yet. It's today, Rance Castle construction site. Rance has come to see the construction site of his castle. Amazusa group employed employees rushed around the huge waiting foundation for the building. Hmm. Heave ho, heave ho. Huh. Heave ho, heave ho. Hmm. Uh, uh, Mr. Rance? What? Sorry, but it's a little hard to work with you standing there. Also, the groaning of yours is kind of distracting, so it'd help if you could stop. I don't care. It's your guys' fault that this is taking so long. Jeez, it takes forever to build a castle. I'm tired of waiting. Hey, hold on, Mr. Rance. That's a little too much. We're already working about five times faster than usual. I haven't had a good night's sleep in three days myself. Give us a break here. What do I care? Just hurry up and build my castle. Oh, but you won't get away with any shoddy construction. You hear me? Do it properly now. Yes, yes. We're a world-renowned construction firm, you know? You don't need to keep such a close eye on us. You've got quite the attitude, don't you? Remember that I'm your client. Take this! Wow, I'm, please stop that. The, 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 the lumber's gonna fall. Yeah, how about that? And that. Cut it out, Rance. Don't bully the pudding heads. Oh, COVID on it. P President Pudding Head. Ap, ap, right? Your head looks like a pudding with a sesame cream on it. Th that's not very nice. Oh, it does look like that. It just needs a nice berry on top. Uh, anyway, we'll do our job per jobs perfectly. Please don't get in the way, Mr. Rance. Excuse me. Oh, he ran away. Well, whatever. So, did you come to see my castle too, Copendon? Hmm, something like that anyway. I didn't think you'd build a castle, though, Rance. What an ambitious undertaking. How crazy. You think so? Isn't it pretty normal for you? An adventure building... Adventure building castles to is totally different than a big business building one. You don't hear about too many adventurers who make their own enough money to build castles on their own. Not without gambling on stocks and such. I see, I see. So I'm just a legendary. Gahahaha. <laughs> pretty much, yep. Oh, that's right. I'll give you a room when the castle's done. I'll have plenty, after all. Huh, really? 
Oh, that's great. Can I live there? Can I move in? Yeah, sure, I'll keep you. Wow, I'm super happy. Yay, Rance is gonna keep me. Well, I'm bored of teasing construction workers, so I'm gonna go to the bar. Wanna come? Oh, I'm flattered that you invited me, but... Sorry, I got some business I got to take care of after this. I really do want to go, though. Well, don't worry about it. See you later. Yeah, see ya. Kobundan kept waving until she couldn't see Rance anymore. Wave, wave. Ah. <sighs> I really am glad he'll give me a room in his castle, but... Can Rance really just live in a castle like this? The idiot. Kobundan muttered. A subordinate appeared behind her with some papers. President, it's finished. Hmm, good work. How was it? Which, just as you said, President, full of defects. Six engineers you hired to the inspection around six found 67 instances of substandard work. It's definitely not safe enough for someone to live here. Thought so. You can just tell. You can just tell looking that this isn't any good. The deficiencies were all reported to the Amazusa group with corrections. We've also given them a penalty to prevent future occurrences. Hmm. Keep monitoring it, but don't let Rance notice. Yes, ma'am. Please excuse me, then. Hmm. Kodan's subordinate bowed and laughed. Ah, uh, that Rance is so reckless. He doesn't even pay in mind to anything requiring effort. If I'd let him alone, how much would he get scammed? Not that I care if he's scammed. A good woman supports him from the shadows, like me. Now I'm actually looking forward to moving in here. Hehe. <laughs> A love nest for Rance and me, though I'm pretty sure there'll be others, too. Ah, uh, it's gonna be fun. I hope it's finished soon. On the other hand, Amazusa group. Hey. The president just showed up and pointed out all our corner cutting. S seriously? It's that sly woman. We're just Mr. Rance. We totally have his number. Hey now. These corners were cutting. How are we gonna make it in a week? Uh, are we gonna finish at this rate? You think we're gonna die? Well, let's just do our best. Uh, Rance's castle moved towards completion by the day. How long have we been for? Let's see. 42 minutes. Uh, I'll try to make it. Let's do one other quest. So, we'll do. Um, let's just do the next Malgrade, because why not? Let me change up my party, though. Let's put in. Alright, see, she's level 8 just on her own. But let's put her in. Let's put me. Me. I'm so cute. Uh, in just because we need some levels on her. Let's put in a, uh, where's a good guard? Let's put in, yeah, we'll put in Rocky for the time being. And then I'll put Crane in as a ranger because I can do what I want. Maybe add in, uh, Urza? Hmm, let's see. There's someone who's level cap I could reach fairly easily. Hmm. Well, I'll put Reset in because she's got, you know, an infinite level cap, so she's probably the best archer in the game just due to that fact. So yeah. This one I believe is fairly easy. Also in terms of navigation, some of them can be pretty hard. Uh Oh, okay, crane leveled up. Let's hope we get Rance Castle. We'll probably get it. Oh, see, look, that's how much EXP can be given. But let's hope. Um. Right, I'm gonna make her. I wish I would do darkness. Um, let's focus on electric for now, I guess. Um. Alright. So yeah, that's how much EXP can be given uh, to when you want to level up characters quickly from level 1 to... That's one thing I think makes the game not as annoying is that you get so much EXP, especially in later worlds. 
it makes the you know whenever they have to whenever they get more ruined and return to level one it makes it a lot easier to um like get uh their level back up Right, good on you, Rocky, for constantly not having as much any issues. All right, I mean, all right. I guess I'm unable to get uh, Zeus Lightning. Wait, actually, oh yeah, I can increase my magic uh, skills actually, so I'll do that. What? I didn't mean to do that. Huh? Can't remember the exact pathway for getting to the tiny. Phew, mm -hmm. break time. Give me some tea, Sajiko. Uh, okay, please wait a moment. Sajiko finished the tea and turned around. Huh? Where'd he go? Sir, sir! At that time, not far from where Rance's party was resting, some unfamiliar men were speaking in hushed tones. Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. It sounds like she's trying to avoid a man named Rance. I think her name was Shizuka Maso. Hey look, it's the girl my cursor is of. We were in the first stream of Malgrid Dungeon, I think. Oh, that's valuable information. Uh, just so you know, I didn't come here over here looking for any secrets. I came to get you since you wandered off. Well, thank you. But this sort of thing happens, so you should stay away from me. No way. That'd be such a waste. Come on, let's go. Right. Walks Rance off with Crane and Co. <laughs> She's beautiful. She learns secrets. She just all sexily. Crane is sure is nice to have around. When I heard, Shizuko was in the first stadium of Malgrid Dungeon, right? I should go check later. Shizuko, the best girl and the wife. The wifey wife. I love her with all of my heart. Uh, yeah, we already have Shizuko though, so, you know, that information isn't exactly the most useful. Sorry, by the way, that I'm not always talking. Sometimes I can't talk. Sometimes I don't really know what to say either. Uh, since Crane is letting low on moves, I want to switch me for Tago. For this, though, I'm just gonna brutal attack. There we go. I'm gonna brutal attack again and reset leveled up. Crap, I think I went the wrong way. I think I'm going- oh wait- oh! There's the end! <laughs> uh, I was gonna say let's go off the door but I just saw the boss. So yeah, this should be easy. We just need to- 
brutal attack. Yeah, that was easy. And then, uh, I'm gonna switch via into the party, and I want to actually find where somewhere I can fight. I want to try to get the magnum bonus for this. What it will say? Yes, it will. Already. Oop! I forgot to get that chest there. Oh my gosh! Alrighty, that's a pretty good weapon, but I'm on. That'll be for us. Regardless, though, I am going to end the episode here. Let me just save real quick. Oh, don't, not that. Thank you very much to all of my supporters, especially, uh, we're, bleh, I can't talk properly. Thank you very much to all of my supporters. If you would like to support me on Kofi, well, why can I not say this right? Thank you to all my supporters. Um, I am very grateful for all of you, and I am very happy that I am able to get your support. A uh, special thank you to Jay Sonata, who is my, currently my only month, first and only monthly supporter. If you would like a special shout out or your name at the end credits, please, um, please support me on Kofi. It goes a long way, and uh, yeah, I haven't complained about it, but employment is hard. Uh, for some reason, jobs won't get me. I think it's because I'm schizophrenic, whatever. So yeah, uh, link in, will be in the description for my Kofi. Um, uh, yeah, that's all I can think of saying right now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.